with world-class manager Rafa Benitez and young striker rediscovering his potential in Demery Gray, could this year be the year that Everton finally break out of their mid-table malice? And let's go to Michael. Um, I mean, with Arsenal not there, I guess there's a spot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I think I think they'll be tough to be honest with, with you. Like the caliber of players on that squad is just a tier below some of the other top tier clubs. The amount they're spending is also a tier below, you know, some of those other top tier clubs. Um, and to me, they, they always seem to be, at best, a team that could finish maybe fourth, at best, fifth, most likely, and then, you know, six, seven, eighth is usually their wheelhouse. And I think they're, they're in line for a finish like that again. I know that they're having, you know, a decent start to the campaign, but so are several other teams. And if you look around the table, a lot of teams are also having a slow start to the year. And that usually balances out towards the end of the season. So um, I, I would say they'd be in tough to do that, Sarah. So early days still, hard to say. Early kind of days. Like. Yeah. yeah. And, and Jelani? Yeah, no, I'm looking at the table so far. It's early, but you do like what they're doing so far. And a lot of people, you know, a lot of Everton fans weren't too sold on having Benitez there just because of his Liverpool past. But they're opening up to the idea. And I think that's good. I think he's a good manager for them. I think he's making them play with a lot more heart so far. Um, And so far, so good. I think the longer he stays there, the better they'll be. Uh, But yeah, I agree with Michael. Like, they have to do a bit more than what they've been doing just to be with you know the upper echelon the best teams in the pl i think they're on the right track but i won't say that they're quite there yet time will tell though so yeah maybe a potential europa league spot we could see for these guys yeah probably all Once. right and finally let's switch it up to talk about a little world cup qualifiers gareth southgate's england are back in action this week are england a realistic world cup contender jelani we're gonna start with you i do think they are just like they were at the euros you know they do want it to come home it's Did not it far home from now? home yeah it's not far from home <laughs> but i think that there are so many other things to look at now because it's the world cup there's more contenders there you know the usual suspects they're talking about france brazil you know skybet has um england as the third team with the best odds to win it all but you're also talking about argentina belgium Italy, who beat them in the Euro final, Spain, all these teams are going to be there. So it's going to be very interesting. But you're looking at England. Southgate has so many great players to work with. A lot of talent is on this team. You know, you're talking about a lot of PL talent on this team. So he has that at his disposal. But also, I like Southgate. He did have a slow start to the Euro, you could say, tactically and all that sort of thing. But as time went on, they started playing a lot better. And also, I think he's a type of manager that has his team play together and play to win together. So that's a good sign for England. They should look forward to it. I do think that they will be in you know contention for, for the title, for the World Cup title. But there's no guarantee that they'll make the final because of all the you know different teams attacking them as well. Also because it's England, but sure. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael. That's mean. Um, <laughs> just picking up off what Jelani was saying, like, if you look around the world, like, yes, you, you named all those teams. All those teams are, to me, are contenders, and that's because there's no one team right now that are completely running away with everything. The, the Spains, where Spain used to dominate, you know, for for a, almost a decade, that's no longer there. Like, there's a there's a, there's an opportunity for some team right now to step up and take hold of that spot. I think there's a lot of parity right now in, in you know world football and the international stage. And I do think England is right up there with some of those best teams. When you consider especially how young they are, that experience at the Euros, you know, you add that under their belt. And, you know, I, I don't see any reason why this team cannot go out there and make another deep run. So I, I do think they, they definitely have a shot here. I mean, I definitely think England has the players, like you both said, but I guess it comes down to is Southgate going to use them because that was one of the big, like, controversies, right? So, I don't know. It, In my opinion, I don't think he's the guy to get you there, but you guys, your players could do that. But I don't I don't know if he has the, the right head on his shoulders. It's been, you know, how long they've been, you know, just getting this far, this far. So, I guess we'll see. Big uh, couple weeks, though, for qualifiers, so... 
I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs>